Premier Mark Brantley said he wants tighter controls on travel between the two islands in the midst of the COVID-19 outbreak on St. Kitts, saying he will discuss the issue with Cabinet and with the Commissioner of Police. He said there is too much non-essential travel taking place and even attempts to travel just for a lime and to party, even the persons that to stay at home during the current partial curfew and COVID-19 related lockdown. According to the Premier, people are not taking the situation seriously and will be taking the matter to Cabinet. I have a situation even now that I'm trying to address. And I'm going to be speaking at the federal level with my colleagues there about it because do you know there are still people who are taking private vessels, craft, etc., who are trying to get on the boat to come to Nevis for all kinds of irrelevant reasons? Oh my there are still people from Nevis who are going down to sink it. So they got to go look for their, 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 their girlfriend or boyfriend who said they're going singers or carry mango, right? And then coming back to Nevis, there are still, there's still that happening. It tells me that there's a disconnect, that our people somehow are still, I walk, I drove to Charleston recently, and I counted 14 people. And of the 14, not one was wearing a mask properly. The police reported to me that they had to go up Hamilton, here in Nevis, will break up a party the other night. Party! They had to go there on Happy Hill to break up another party. So even in this environment where people are hearing this dire news, people's interest is still to go out to party. Brent Lee, who for weeks has been urging the visions to vaccinate against the COVID-19 virus and lamenting a lethargic response of the visions, believes the non-essential travel taking place between the two islands places Nevis at increased risk of a community outbreak and the non-essential movement has to stop. Glenn Barrett reporting for SKN Newsline.